At the International Justice Resource Center, we empower people to enforce their rights. But what does that mean? Just imagine. Pueblo was a happy town until a local factory dumped toxic waste into the river. The community came together and brought their problems to court. But the court didn't help. The people of Pueblo didn't know what to do until they emailed IJRC. Dimitri was protesting his government's discrimination against minorities. The police beat Dimitri and threw him in jail. The local courts said Dimitri's rights had not been violated. Seeking justice, he contacted IJRC for guidance. Soldiers came to Maria's village and took away her son Diego. The authorities couldn't help. So Maria went to a lawyer, who thought there might not be any hope, until she found IJRC's website. Back in Pueblo, an IJRC lawyer trained the community on how to advocate before the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. The Pueblo community petitioned the commission, and the commission told the state to stop the pollution. IJRC provided Dimitri with guidance so that he could submit an application to the European Court of Human Rights, and advised him on how to secure emergency protection so that he would be released from jail. On IJRC's online resource hub, Maria's lawyer learned how to request an urgent intervention by the United Nations Committee on Enforced Disappearances. The committee recognized that Maria had a right to know the truth and asked the state to find out what happened to Diego and protect him from harm. Maria felt that she had finally been heard. IGRC's online resource hub, trainings, and advice make it possible for advocates and individuals around the world to enforce their rights when their governments fail to protect them. Donate today to help communities and people like Pueblo, Dimitri, and Maria claim their human rights.